With the Ultima Spotting Scope, you get great all-around performance at an exceptional value. These best-selling spotting scopes are a customer favorite for their bright views with fully multi-coated optics, fully waterproof housing, and included soft carrying case. With six different Ultima models to choose from, there's one to fit virtually any outdoor application. Choose from the lightweight 65mm models for maximum portability the 100mm models for outstanding light gathering ability, or the 80mm models for a nice balance. All three sizes come in both a straight through and a 45 degree angled body design, so you can choose the viewing angle that's most comfortable for you. All models include a zoom eyepiece allowing you to get in close for detailed up close views of birds, wildlife, or even the moon. Get more out of your next outdoor adventure with an Ultima Spotting Scope. Hi, this is Joe with Vortex Optics, here today to talk to you about our Vortex Solo Monocular. The Vortex Solo Monocular comes in several different sizes, an 8 and 10 by 36, I have the 8 by 36 here in my hands, as well as an 8 and 10 by 25. So let's take a minute and walk you through the features and benefits of this sweet little optic. All right, we're going to walk you through the Vortex Solo Monocular right now. I'm going to walk you through the 36 millimeter here, which has the utility clip, and I've got the 25 millimeter here for reference. The first thing you're going to notice is that these are very small and lightweight. They come in at under 5 inches, and both of them are under 10 ounces. So starting at the front of the Solo, all the optics are fully multi-coated, which just means you're increasing the light transmission as well as the resolution, giving you those clear, crisp images that you're looking for. They are fully rubber armored, which means they're extremely durable. There's also no alignment issues that you have to worry about. In a binocular, you've got two barrels, whereas in the Solo, you just have one. Internally, they are nitrogen purged and O-ring sealed, which means they're waterproof and fog proof. Again, on the 36 millimeter, we have this uh, unique utility clip, which makes it extremely versatile. On the sides here, you've got a spot for a lanyard, which does come with the Solo. Then we've got the focus wheel here, and then we have a twist and lock eye cup on the top here. So if you had eyeglasses, you'd have it in the down position as you're seeing here. Or if you didn't have eyeglasses, you'd have it twisted back. All right, that's going to cover it for the Vortex Solo Monocular. If you're looking for a small, lightweight, versatile optic for your next adventure, I strongly urge you head down to your local Vortex authorized dealer and check out one of these today. As with all of our monoculars, the Solo comes standard with our VIP warranty, which is our unlimited, unconditional, lifetime guarantee.
It showed up today. This is my monocular. That's what they call it, a monocular. I guess you can call it half of a binocular. Here's what comes with the monocular. You get the directions. Who reads them, right? But what I noticed after reading them, they use the word forbidden to clean the inner parts of the monocular. Forbidden. It zooms in on various different items from far, far away. This holder connects to your phone. This particular one comes with a compass. Anyways, uh, here's the front lens cover. It's rubberized. The cover's kind of a rubber texture. But I'm going to show you the difference between your camera zoom, and I'm going to zoom in way on top of that mountain up there. There's a tree, okay? And I'll zoom in on my camera. So here's the camera zoom. Takes a second to uh, clear up. That same tree, right oh, up there, the tallest one. So that's it. Let's uh, hook it up, and I'll show you the same zoom. Okay, so that's with the uh, telephoto lens or the monocular. What we have is the phone hooked up, not zoomed in totally yet, but you can see that tree right in the middle of the uh, frame, and I'm going to zoom in on that now. Okay, so you saw what it looked like. Here's another reminder. This is with the phone. So we're going to zoom in. I don't know. What do you think? It's a little grainy. It's definitely clearer and closer. Back to the camera. And now we're back to the telephoto lens. I don't know. There you go. It'll be okay with some video shots, I guess.